A lot of people are thinking because of the drastic design change we saw with macOS Big Sur, Apple might have some touchscreen Macs in the pipeline. And don't worry about it, you don't have to comment Snazzy Labs video down below, I've already seen it, I'm a big fan of Quinn Nelson's content, I watch all his videos that he makes and they're amazing, you should go check him out instead of wasting your time here, but after watching that video, he brought up some excellent points as to why he thinks there are some touchscreen Macs coming out soon in the transition to Apple Silicon and macOS Big Sur's design language is kind of evident of that but I had some thoughts on the matter and I feel like we need more videos on this channel that aren't going to age well so without further ado here's why I don't think touchscreen Macs are coming let's begin <laughs> So I think the biggest counter arguments to my point from the beginning of this video is that Apple has announced iOS and iPad apps will be able to run natively on Apple Silicon and macOS Big Sur is helping make this possible. And that's very difficult to do when iOS apps are supposed to be somewhat, you know, built for touch because that's how we use them and multi-touch in particular, which using a mouse and a keyboard to use a multi-touch app on a Mac, yeah, that's not going to run very well. And, and a lot of people took that as, oh, well, you know what would be perfect is if multi-touch came to the Mac. And in a way, I think it kind of is. It's kind of easy to forget that Magic trackpads are very capable of allowing multi-touch interaction. I know it's not the same as an iPhone or an iPad, but still, I personally did not see Apple's announcement of this as being a, we want to bring touchscreen to the Macs kind of thing, which would be a giant shift for Apple. That would be a huge fundamental design language shift. And I also don't think macOS Big Sur is entirely that touch-friendly in the first place but honestly I saw this little announcement being as a more handy thing for occasional apps that aren't being built for the Mac yet just being able to boot up on Mac OS I don't think just because there are some apps that require multi-touch that will now be technically capable of running on the Mac that instantly means that touchscreen Macs are coming because a lot of this multi-touch especially pinch to zoom type thing can be emulated with trackpads and MacBooks all of course are shipping with trackpads and those are the most common Mac sold so multi-touch I don't see as big as an obstacle for iPad and iPhone apps running on the Mac, but while I've seen some great points brought up by people that the Mac OS Big Sur looks very iPad-like, especially with Control Center. There's some choices and design shifts Apple has made that seem like they want to make it more touch-friendly, but in my opinion, by no means is Mac OS Big Sur any kind of touch-friendly compared to something like an iPad or an iPhone, which is what Apple deems as worthy of, you know, a multi-touch interaction, because yeah, they have spaced out iPad icons and they've created a bit more buffering between different buttons and options and icons, but they are still far too small to be any type of usable with a touchscreen, particularly the stoplight buttons in the corner of every single window, the red, the yellow, the green. Those things would be horrible with a touch interface and Microsoft has tried in the past to make these kind of hybrid operating systems that do desktop and tablet at the same time and I don't see Big Sur as anywhere close to that compatibility of touch. There would still need to be some drastic redesigns to Mac OS before they could just start adding a touchscreen to it and like I said I don't expect this video to age super well because if you guys recall in the past I used to be a huge advocate as to why the iPad does not need a mouse the iPad does not need a trackpad and here we are in 2020 it has a trackpad they have keyboards and now the iPad has become very much a hybrid two-in-one device probably the best one in my opinion but that's also part of the reason why I feel like the Mac will not get a touchscreen yes there is plenty of evidence in Apple's history show showcasing that they've tried to do touchscreen on the Mac and it didn't work out very well for long-term use. It was only used occasionally. Phil Schiller has said multiple times it's absolutely not the right way to go. And Apple does change their mind on things quite a bit. They go back and forth on different subjects, but this one in particular, they have been very vocal about not doing despite people asking them to do it for over a decade now. And I think one of the biggest bottlenecks of bringing touch to the Mac is honestly the different sized windows because you notice with iPads that you can open open apps and you can do multitasking and you can have picture in picture, but they pretty much never allow you to run an app that's in a window that allows you to be resizable and put it off to the side or something and have your home screen and an app running at the same time. And I think that shows a fundamental design language shift for touch interface. That means that when Apple thinks a touch screen is being used, you can't be as precise as a mouse. You can't be as accurate as you can with a cursor. And yes, they redesigned the cursor experience a lot for the iPad, but they still wanted it to remain touch 
dominant and that is why apps still pick up the entire display you can do multiple things at once but Mac OS is almost entirely the opposite everything is running in Windows and yes you can full screen things but it's definitely not by default and while they could add an extra layer of user input and still have keyboard and mouse be the dominant interface for Mac but just allow people to reach out and touch when they feel like it that would be a huge shift for the Mac and I also think it would be a lot more trouble than it would end up being worth particularly for hearing that Apple is still working on desktops like iMacs and of course they just launched the Pro Display XDR none of this stuff of course has touch compatibility so if we're talking about bringing touchscreen to Macs that would involve a whole lot of smudges on that glass as well as complete updating design of every single Mac they currently sell maybe it wouldn't be something available across all Macs but as Apple has talked about in the past having different user inputs for different Mac machines kind of is a deterrent from them despite allowing things like the touch bar and not giving that to the Mac line I don't think just because there's a touch bar on the MacBook means that Apple is willing to cause more diversification more divide between Macs and MacBooks especially if they're selling things like the Mac mini which you would have to buy a monitor that is touch compatible and that is proven to not be super successful so we're definitely talking about a MacBook type thing if they wanted to bring touch to the Mac and I personally just see it as an extra user input that would require a whole lot of manufacturing rethinking you know adding a touch layer to Mac displays and there's already a bunch of redesigns going in with the Mac right now that you know adding a trackpad and redesigning some of the software for iPad OS to support a cursor I honestly think is way easier than adding touchscreen to Macs because you don't have to fundamentally change the way your displays are manufactured which Apple's been very set in stone on with we want the MacBook display lid to be this thin and now we're adopting mini LED with the iPad it was as simple as a keyboard case accessory okay we sell this little thing with a trackpad attached to it we alter the code a little bit so a cursor can you know fill in bubbles on the user interface and that should allow for a cursor experience that is still on a touch dominated operating system whereas adding these giant touch layers to displays of MacBooks which are known for having very very thin lids and if you press hard on them they warp a lot so a huge redesign would have to take place to both ends of the MacBook now and all of that so that most of the time people are still gonna be using a keyboard and mouse anyway but can occasionally tap up when they feel like it or design some type of you know huge huge hybrid device that allows you to rip the display away from the keyboard and mouse and go into an iPad OS like device similar to the Surface Book which Microsoft has been selling for a long time in my opinion it seems like a whole lot of work for a second hybrid operating system okay hybrid is in you know with the iPad you have a touch dominant interface you can buy an iPad without a keyboard and mouse and still use it just fine but if you want to dock it with a keyboard and mouse you can and add some extra user input there and the interaction will be somewhat seamless still you can rely on touch alone but I feel like the iPad is kind of Apple's playground to mess around with touch and keyboard and mouse inputs on one device I really don't see much of a point in creating a secondary platform that kind of does the same thing except this time keyboard and mouse is dominant and touch is secondary I'm not against having multiple user inputs I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world for Macs to adopt touch screens but I honestly think all of the trouble Apple would have to go through to adopt touch screens on MacBooks or iMacs or making some type of Surface Studio replica all of that redesign and all of that shift in design language would cost them a fortune and I feel like Apple knows from testing this stuff internally that it ends up not getting used that much and I think a lot of people who bought the magic keyboard case for the iPad Pro can already advocate that once you have a keyboard and mouse attachment you start to use the touchscreen less and less and less because you start getting comfortable with that and you start getting used to it and we already have that on the Macs and just if they started getting touchscreens I don't think everyone would start using the touchscreen for every Thing, and yet it would still require a whole lot of re-engineering a whole bunch of changes to the operating system because Mac OS Big Sur did take a giant fundamental design language to make it look more iPad like but I really don't see it as more than that I see it as trying to make the design schemes consistent between the iPad and the Mac I know the app icons don't match I, I couldn't tell you that either I don't know why they did it that way but I don't think that just because the icons aren't matching that means that Apple does want to match the touch experience of the iPad and the Mac and as I've said before before. I could be totally wrong about this but personally I think they want to make it so that the iPhone is you know touch only that's pretty much the only way to use it and the iPad can be their hybrid OS they can bring some keyboard and mouse type experiences to it as well as make touch still the dominant interface so that you don't have to use a keyboard and mouse but you still can in certain circumstances where it makes more sense and then they would rather the Mac stay a keyboard and mouse only interface so you kind of have a spectrum here between touch only and keyboard and mouse only and the iPad is where they can play around a little bit but having two separate hybrid
hybrid operating systems, I feel like would just be a whole lot of work on Apple's end, and this video could age very horribly if Apple ends up doing it. Maybe it's more simple to add a touchscreen layer than I think, but in my opinion, the current display lids they're building right now, and the current way they're manufacturing Macs and Pro displays and iMacs they're working on, I don't think those displays can easily just gain a touchscreen, and Mac OS Big Sur is still not touch-friendly enough for Apple to deem it worthy of a touchscreen, and there would have to be some massive redesigns to menus, windows, resizing, even control center and the little nav bars at the top. Those text options and everything is way too close together for it to be somewhat comparable to something like an iPad. And that's why I don't think that Mac touchscreens are coming, but I get it. A ton of you disagree with me and that's fine. Just understand there's nothing personal here. This is all speculation. We're all friends and nerds at the end of the day. So feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord if you have more thoughts about it over there. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.